YouTube, what's going on? It's professional Madden player T. Davis, and welcome to another free mini scheme here on the YouTube channel. We're breaking down 32 NFL team playbooks, going over the five best money plays in each playbook. I think you guys are going to really enjoy today's video. It's going to help you guys improve a lot when it comes to getting better at competitive Madden. Make sure you guys subscribe here to the channel on YouTube for the best pro player tips, gameplays, ebooks, and much more. Check out my coaching sessions down below as well. We have 30 minute and 60 minute sessions if you want to improve as a Madden player. I also have a defensive ebook available, my multiple playbook defensive ebook. We have 80 minutes worth of run scheme, defensive scheme, how to build a scheme in general. Uh, we have some great blitzes in the ebook as well, so definitely check that stuff out. I stream on Twitch as well. You can check out all my social medias, all my links in the description below. Definitely check all that stuff out in the links in the description below. That's it for the intro, guys. Let's get into today's video. YouTube, what's going on? So today we're taking a look at the Washington football team offensive playbook. We're going to break down five money plays in this playbook. This is the final playbook of all 32 NFL teams. We've broken down five money plays from each NFL playbook in the game. So hope you guys have enjoyed this. It's been a lot of fun to bring this to the channel. This is the only playbook in the game that has this ace double wing formation. Um, it's really a run-heavy formation. Obviously, it has some interesting pass plays out of it, though, especially if you can kind of manipulate the game, especially if you're in mutt. You can get some receivers at tight ends. can make it very interesting with the plays like PA counter waggle, tight end shake, tight end corner. So it does have some good pass plays if you can get a little bit more speed. Or if you're in mutt, you know, you can get a bunch of like uh, great route running tight ends there, 99 overall tight ends, make this offense really effective. But, the you know, we're going to just take a look at the run scheme out of it. You know, we got the stretch and the dive. The thing that makes us think this formation so good is that it's a universal run, so you can flip it to either side, to left or right, and it's balanced. So you never know which side um, we can run it to. The defense, you, gotta, you know, you keep them off balance. And that's what you always want to do when you're planning an offensive scheme is keep them off balance. You always look to see where the numbers are. So like right here, I'm going to go to the right side. You see there we had kind of the numbers to the right side with the alignment of the defense. Get it up there. Stretch, you know, has been good in Madden for the last few years. Um, another thing you can do out of this, if you don't want to just keep it balanced, you can actually utilize some motion as well. So I can bring this guy over here. Now we can create more of a strong concept, even more to the left side. with a, Almost take, makes like a fullback lead blocker. Um, you, so you can motion out that outside guy. You can also motion the inside guy. So if I see something like this defense, though, then I audible down to the dive easily just like that. Go ahead and motion Thaddeus Moss over, make it a little bit of a motion block. Kind of get up there with the dive. So you can utilize motion from either side. You can keep it balanced. I'll go ahead and run it one more time here. This time I'm going to run the stretch to the right, and I'm going to utilize some motion, get it over there with that lead blocker, try to get to the outside. But just a great run scheme. Like I said, you can mix in the pass plays out of it. If you have some elite tight ends, let's jump into the next play. All right, so we're in the gun bunch, and Washington actually has a really good gun bunch. Um, you're going to see some great plays in here like bench, bench pivot. It has a hatback base, probably the best running shotgun this year. we got mesh post, inside cross, cross, clear out is great if you have route chems. We have Z spot and go, bunch trail and flood, of course. Play we're going to take a look at today is mesh post. And this play is so good because you can run it so many different ways. You can literally just run the stock. I like to just block the running back. And you can just run this. I like this setup versus the blitz a lot. You're going to be able to check down to one of these drags quickly over the middle. Like creates that mesh concept. So we're looking for one of those drags. Sometimes you can look for the tight end flat as well. If they're bringing that heavy blitz, the post over the top will get open. This we have man coverage. I'm going to try to hit that quick post as soon as he cuts over the middle. Go ahead and do this setup one more time here. Just block the running back. Like I said, this time I'm going to check it down to the flats. Easily pick up about eight yards there just on a little flat rope. So now some other setups I like to do here is this halfback wheel. We like to utilize that, right? So I'm going to go ahead and put X, the solo receiver over here, on a little baby out route. That's going to allow the zones to kind of... Uh, go out with that out route, allowing our running back to get open right as he cuts up the field. We can low pass that for zone. Now over here, you can do two, two, one of two things. You can either put the slot receiver on a little hitch route like that. Creates a nice little high-low combo with the hitch and the post. Or you can motion him over, putting on, on a motion slant like this. So that's kind of all preference here. You see it's man coverage again. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the post quickly. Let's see if we can get a zone coverage look here. Once again, put that solo receiver on a little baby out route. Going to go ahead and put RB on a slant. Motion him over. And looks like we have, uh, right there, we're just going to throw the slant. I like to low pass those motion slants all the time as well. They kind of get, you know, underneath the zone coverage. Creates for an easy completion. One more time here with this setup. Motion over that slant. And the slant post combo can be very effective as well. As you see, it there it gets wide open. We also have the running back right there. So you have everything open for a zone. Probably one of the best setups to beat zone in the game. And then I'm going to show you one other setup that really can beat zone uh, really well also. 
it'll set up like this. I like to put X on a streak on the solo side. I'm going to put the tight end on a drag, and I'm going to put the uh, slot receiver on hitch, and I'm actually going to motion B over. It turns him into a corner road. So now we have a flood basically going to the left side here. It looks like it's man coverage. I'm just going to check it down to Logan Thomas on the drag. So, you know, we're only breaking down five money plays in this whole playbook, but I basically just gave you guys three money plays from this one play out of mesh post right here. Um, just a great play. You know, any playbook you run, you can add this to your arsenal. Just very effective. Once again, it's man coverage again. Check it down to the drag. We also had the corner out there. I just didn't throw it. But mesh post, one of the best plays in all of Madden the last few years. Multiple different ways to run it. You definitely want to add this play to your offense. All right, guys. Now we're in the gun tight formation. The play I want to take a look at is slot post. This play is super effective. Uh, you can run this versus man in zone coverage. A couple different things I like to do here. First thing I like to do is put Y on a streak, kind of clear him out of the way for Logan Thomas. I'm also going to put Sims. You can do two things. You can put him on a hitch. You can put him on a slant. I like to put him on that slant, motion him over to the left, and I'm going to put B on a drag. So it creates a high-low. I like to keep the running back route because that route is very effective as well. Kind of gets out of the backfield um, to create a nice little delay concept right there, the drag getting wide open. So you have these high-low reads kind of all over the field as far as the post, the slant, the drag. There's a lot of different things we can create. Once again, we're going to motion over X here on the slant. Looks like now I have zone. I'm going to wait. Tight end getting open down the seat or down the field. Horrible overthrow right there by Alex Smith. You see the separation that the tight end gets. And he kind of clears the zones as well to get him open to the sidelines for a huge completion. This time we have zone again. I'm going to try to hit him again this time. And Alex Smith just air mailing it. But you see all that space he has. If I had the gunslinger ability, we'd get that in there easily for a nice completion. Let's go ahead and run it one more time. See if this time we can maybe... Let's try to hit the running back. You see the man coverage. He just toasts his man for an easy 15-yard gain to the sideline. So slot post, simple setup, but one of the best in the game. All right, guys. Fourth play that we got to mix in is that RPO bubble out of the bunch open. This formation is so good. This run is so good. You can either hand it off. You can throw it out there. We got the numbers out there. I'm going to check it out there. Of course, our guys didn't block for us, but you always want to look to see if you have the numbers out there on the wide side. If you do, you throw it out there. So here, and it looks like we have a three-on-three. Three. I'm probably going to hand this off to my running back. Actually, I'm going to keep it with the quarterback. So you see, too, you can also keep it with your quarterback. It makes it like a read option, so you kind of want to watch that DN there on the outside with the R over him. And if he stands up, you hand it off. If he crashes at the quarterback, we're going to keep it with – or if he crashes, we're going to keep it with the quarterback, try to get to the outside. Right here, we don't really have the numbers that great on the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and read that defensive end. This time he stands up. I hand it off. Easy inside zone for about six yards right up the middle. So kind of a lot of things you want to account for. But once you do that, it makes it super easy to stop. This time the, the DN crashes. I'm going to hand it off. And Alex Smith's only about 65 speed. But he's able to get up there for 15 yards. So this play is so dynamic because there's three different things you can do out of it. Once again here, the crashes. I'm going to run with Alex Smith. Follow my blocks. Pick up about 10 yards. So as you see there, I'm having consistent success with this read option. This time, once again, we don't have the numbers out there really. It's a three-on-three, three, so I'm going to go ahead and read the defensive end. They're crashing again. That time, they got a little lucky. We need a we need a quicker quarterback in, able to, uh, in order to do this. This time, they stand up. We hand it off. We kind of get stuck on the line, but we still pick up about five yards. So let's see if I can get one where I can throw it out wide. Ah, they still We still don't really have the numbers out there. This time, I'm going to keep it with my quarterback again. It's just way too slow, but you, you saw the gap to the outside there. And so once again, yeah, I'm gonna just throw it out there. See, that's what you don't want to do exactly because they had the th we had they didn't we didn't have the numbers out there. There's too many defenders out there to throw it. That's a situation where you want to avoid that. This time they stand up. We hand it off. That was actually a good run defense right there. They kind of came down to the box. Um, this time they're in a quarter three deep, so that ain't gonna do us no favors. We're just gonna hand it off. I just really want to get one bubble screen out there if I can when we have the numbers. But see, I'm always reading the box and the numbers. I'm not ever going to try to force it. That's the beauty of this play. But now I have a three on two out there. You see that? So I'm going to go ahead and click it out there to RB, try to make a play. We Our guys to the outside did not hold the block again. But that's ideally what you're looking for. I wish the game would do a better job to block those defenders. But that's just the beauty of this play. It's a nice little mix in. You can run, you can keep with the quarterback, or you can pass the bubble screen out of this play. One of the best you need to mix into your arsenal. All right, guys, final play of this five-play money scheme is the play trail out of gun empty bunch. This play is super, super money this year. A couple different ways you can set it up. The first one I like to do, and you can run this just stock. That's how good it is, but I like to streak X right here like that. So you're going to kind of have, we're going to kind of have a flood now to the left side, but we also still have these backside routes that are money. The B trail route or the B post route, the trail route to the running back at RB. Of course, we have the drag corner route flood concept to the left side. So a lot of different things we can hit here. 
This time, I'm going to go ahead. They played off a little bit. I'm just going to check it down to my drag. They played, you know, they played back a little bit. No hard flats. So we're able to check down, pick up about five yards every time with that drag route. This time looks like we might have zone, so we're going to throw it over to that post. You see that post gets wide open in the middle of the field, and that can be a big play as well. Um, so you're kind of just reading the layers of the defense. This time, I'm going to go ahead and hit my angle route right down the seam, middle of the field. Huge play. So we have kind of... You know, we have underneath routes. We have routes over the top. A lot of different things. Um, this time, looks like we're going to try to hit our corner route to the wide open to the sidelines. But I got hit as I threw. You see that corner route, though? It does get open to the sidelines if they're not playing clouds. If they're playing hard flats, you can throw behind it every time. This time, I got the drag again. So, it's just a simple read right there. Now, the other setup that I like to do here is have multiple hitch routes, right? So, one thing I would probably do is have, like, a mesh post concept. So, I'd put RB on a flat. I'd put A on a hitch. And then I would put Y on a hitch. So this is really the check down type of version of it. You see there we have three hitches, the flat post combo, which is good to the right side as well. So this would be the other setup I would do with it. You see there, ah, it's probably the wrong read, but they look like they bit on the hitch a little bit. So I try to get it behind them to the post, but I probably should ideally check down to the hitch. Let's go ahead and see it again here. This time it's man coverage, so I'm going to throw the post. So you always want to be aware of the routes you have on the field so that you can make the right decision one more time with that setup. This time, they're going to jump off the post. Oh, I had the tight end wide open, but I got sacked. So the tight end was wide open on the hitch right there. We'll go ahead and do this setup one more time now so I can get a completion off. Uh, if it lets me hot route. There we go. Put A on the hitch. There we go. Just like that. Go ahead and set it up. It's man coverage. Boom. Hitting that post versus man coverage all day long. So that's been five money plays out of the Washington football team offensive playbook. That concludes our 32-team money playbook schemes. If you guys missed any of the playbooks, any of the teams, check out my channel. All 32 teams are on there now. It's been a fun grind, man. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this, trying to get you guys just a little bit better. It doesn't matter if you run this specific playbook, but if you can incorporate any of these plays into the playbook you do run, I think it can really help you guys out a lot. So if you did like this video, you like this series in general, give this video a like, comment down below, make sure to subscribe to the channel here because... You know, we're dying down as the Madden 21 season goes, but once Madden 22 comes, beginning of the year, we're going to be going hard. Tips, strategies, gameplays, news, all that stuff coming out uh, as soon as possible. So I appreciate all you guys' support, man. Until next time, your boy T. Davis is out.